Well, for more on this, I'm joined by Ahmed al Burai. He's a lecturer at Istanbul Aydin University, and he joins us on the set. Uh, Ahmed, thank you very much for joining us. Now, will this statement by the GCC have any weight in terms of the extradition process um, of Fethullah Gülen? Because a lot of these, all these countries are strong allies of the U.S. Yeah, the, the extradition has been a request from the president himself to the American administration. He asked for extraditing the, um, the plotter, the main plotter, or the mastermind of the failed coup uh, last July. But unfortunately, Mr. Obama didn't respond to that, uh, pretexting that they need a proof that this man, Fethullah Gulen, has real uh, hands in the foiled coup. And that's why he didn't, that, that, that's what the American administration claimed to that. Now, this kind of development would, yeah, put some pressure in, 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 to some extent. But in my opinion, I believe that the United States has turned it back to the Gulf, to the region, with the so-called non-interventionist, and they leave the so-called, because Obama labeled the Saudi Arabia as the so-called allies. So it's not going to be that heavy. Okay. What are we going to see in the region in terms of... Um uh, this whole Fethullah Gulen crackdown. Are we going to see freezing of assets? Are we going to see the school, school, uh, closing down of schools and businesses in the region? Uh, already, the president of Turkey generally they started the purge inside Turkey, and they have the uh, they asked the whole region to cut all the kind of relations, they close the the schools because. A President Erdogan labeled this man as a virus, and he, he has no benefit, no good for the, the place he is working at. So all the, the, the relations should favor the, the relations with Turkey rather than the relation with this terrorist organization. What does the statement mean for the fight against terrorism in the region then? The, the point is, again, the re recalibration of the foreign policy of Turkey and, you know, the, the changing of the, the, the whole trajectory of the foreign policy, that we need to have real allies in order to fight and to stand off these kind of terrorist at attack, including uh, terrorist uh, organizations, including Daesh, other sectarian thugs, and the same as Fethullah Gulen organization, because they, 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 you need to have a strategic, clear vision to fight these kind of organizations. Otherwise, they're going to penetrate the whole region and they, they're going to do nothing good for the, 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 the region and its people. Ahmed Albright, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.